The Moline D was a huge improvement over the previous models. It has a more powerful four-cylinder vertical engine built by Root and Vanderroot that can do 9 horsepower on the drawbar and 18 horsepower on the belt. The Model D has a 17-foot turning radius weighing in about 3,300 pounds and has a top speed of 3.6 miles per hour. Production on the Model D ran from 1918 until the model was discontinued in 1923. There were over 20 Model D tractors at the reunion, but there was one collector who had a first-hand experience using the tractor as a young man. James Hitty is nearly 90 years old, but that hasn't slowed his passion for his Moline Universal tractor. I didn't work for Moline, or, but my father had a Moline D when I was a little boy, and I never forgot it. it we had it for about four years, and then it had a failure in the engine, a rod went out the side, so it went to the junkyard. And of course, at that time, I was too small or never had any desire or interest to save anything like that for parts. So I, after I saw this burnt machine, I had the urge to try to restore it. And that's my, that was my inspiration, was the fact that Dad had one and he let me drive it one year when I was eight years old to disc ground. And he was planting corn with the horses. He instructed me to take wide turns at the end on the lands and never turn too short. And he said, if you get in trouble or something happens or something breaks, just turn the key off. I got it, you know. Well, nothing happened. We got along fine and when it come dinner time, lunch time. Well, he said, let's shut down. He come and got jumped on the tractor with me and he shut it down and he says, let's go to dinner. Got home and mom had things ready to eat. She says, uh, well, did you get along planting all right? He said, yeah, I, I got some corn in the ground. She said, well, how did you work the ground and then do the planting and get so much done? Well, he said, I had him drive the tractor on the disc, and she says, what? And he had a little bit of explaining to do. But anyway, she finally accepted the fact that I didn't endanger myself, and we got past it. <laughs> I had never driven a tractor before, so everything I did was a whole new experience. But as you well can imagine, this thing takes a lot of cranking to get it turned. But he cautioned me not to turn too tight, you know, not too, so I could sweep around each end and just keep doing the weave, you know, and disking, and it worked. So uh, that's, if I remember right, that's the only time he'd let me drive it was pulling a disk, because I never could work the plow. So I didn't do any plowing. But anyway, I thought I was King Do, you know. I mean, hey, I'm driving a tractor. <laughs> uh, and then as time went on, I drove a lot more tractors. <laughs> but that was my experience with the D when I was eight years old. It took 37 years, but in 1974, James bought a Moline Universal Model D, just like the one from his childhood. Yeah, it, was, it burned up in a barn fire in Pickerington, Ohio. <clears throat> Some kids had set the fire, I don't know whether accidentally or what, but it burned up in the fire. So I picked it up out of the ashes about two weeks later and stored it for a while, and then eventually got things tore apart that were destroyed beyond using and kept the good stuff had to do rebuild, in other words, rebore the block um, and oversize the cylinders because they were worn, not from the fire, but from bad use over the years. And I salvaged almost all the castings and the, uh, the, uh, the articulated steering castings. I was able to salvage those because they didn't fire, firemen never threw any water on anything. So they laid there in the hot ashes and cooled naturally. Cast will do that. No cracks. It didn't crack anything. And I, I, when I learned that, that they didn't put water on it, I felt safe in taking a chance. 
the guy wanted $25, like that's what he could get for it at the junkyard, so I gave him $25. This mower that's attached to it was not in the fire. The cart that was attached to it went through the fire and it got badly damaged. Wheels were bent. I found a man in uh, 30 miles away that had a cart that was sitting out in his yard where he had logs stored, and I got the cart. <laughs> so, so I've had some gifts and I've had some good luck, but also put in a lot of hours. And I didn't keep track of the hours. Uh, my time's pretty cheap, I guess. I'm retired. I'll be 90 in about four months, and I'm slowing down a little bit, but I'm not going to sit back in a rocking chair and say, well, I'm done. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to do something. <laughs>